In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the transfer brush setting to add realistic hair in Photoshop. Hey everybody, okay, so I wanted to show you guys a quick trick on creating hair strands. So oftentimes when you're retouching, the model may have a lot of flyaways that you have to deal with like this. So the approach here is to remove all of these flyaways and then restructure the hair. So I've already kind of got through the that part of it. The part that I want to talk about is after you get through all of that, the hair can look unrealistic because you have zero flyaways, right? We have a little bit here and just a little bit basically surrounding the periphery of the hair, but it's not realistic. So you want to make sure that you reintroduce realistic hair strands. And here's how you can do it. So when you get to this point, you're going to create a new layer. And we'll call this hair. And we're going to switch to the brush. And we're going to bring down the size of the brush to one pixel. What we're going to do is sample the color of the hair. On a, on a Mac, it's option, and then what you do is you click to sample the color, or to sample the, to, to sample the color from the hair, from her actual hair. And you're gonna draw strands like this. However, there's a couple things we need to do to make it look realistic. First of all, the smoothing. We wanna bring the smoothing up to 75. Let's see how that works. So that's pretty good. So there's another issue though. Let's actually bring the smoothing up even more. There's another issue though with this, right? And it is the fact that this is never ending and hair ends at some point, right? So how can we fix that? So what you do is you go to window, go to your brush settings. And what we're looking for is an option that says transfer. And within transfer, you're looking for this option that says control. And you'll notice there's two of them. And for this particular function that we're about to do, either one works. But under opacity jitter control, we're going to change that to fade. This number right here is the number that you want to deal with. Right now it's set to 25. We're going to try, we're going to start this off by setting it to 200. And as you see below, you get a sample of what that looks like. And so what we do is you start to do that. Now, the color here is a little is a little much. So we're going to go with a, a lighter color. And we're just going to go through and redraw in the hair. Let me start with a, even a lighter color cuz that's it's too it's too prominent. That's better. That's what we want. And now be and now comes the oh so tedious part where you have to do it around the entire head. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. So to make it a little more realistic, you can choose a lighter color. And another thing you can do is reduce the opacity or rather the, the fill or the opacity really of the hair layer. So if we bring this down, 
then that can help with the effect and give it kind of the hair, the fake hair, kind of like a haze and a softer feel. Let's fix up a little bit of this right here. But that looks a lot better than before. Let's take a look before. Yep. Yeah. And we know we have some issues that that from the masks that I created that, that caused this kind of uh, spotty effect happening on the on the on the periphery of the hair. And then adding in our own hair has helped resolve that or minimize it. Okay. So I hope that helps. Please subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you are aware of future tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.